first of all, I apologize for the very, very casual nature. As you know, that's kind of our way. Um, I, you know, we, we came out here to, to test and, and explore the limits of the car. Um, it, it kind of annoyed us a little bit that our record was taken away, to be honest with you, and we started talking back at the um, at the fort that we never really uh, developed here at Laguna Seca. It's, it's a very respected track, and there's some history there. I mean, we, we, were, we were here back in 97 years ago, so in the back of our hearts there's this pull to want to come back here and see what the car can do. Um, and our, our engineer, Chris Winkler, is the guy who set the record. It's a .33. 1.33.914, which is over a second faster than the last uh, previous record held by the Devon GTX. And before that, we had the record before that, so it's not unusual territory for us. Um, we're also here to highlight the ACR. It's something, it's a continuous development. Um, the car's been a lot more successful than we ever imagined. We've built over 303 ACRs since day one. Um, this happens to be number one over here, and, and I don't know what number this is, but, you know, we're, um, we've satisfied a lot of very enthusiastic um, Viper owners. We've also discovered a whole new dimension of what the Viper means to people. I mean, the Viper's been everything from a, a great cruising car, a great, uh, I guess, hobbyist car, so to speak, people that are into it, but it's also becoming a, a bit of a track legend now. And, you know, when we went to Nürburgring last year, the Nürburgring car is right behind us over there. That's the very car that set the record at Nürburgring. Um, you can see that there's some very serious Dodge legend being built again here, and I really like that, and that's the dimension of Viper I wanted to keep fanning the flames up, so to speak. So what's new about the new um, 2010 ACR? There's some subtle tweaks, but they're all significant. If you saw the Nürburgring video, you could see that we struggled with fifth gear. So we went back and we've engineered a new fifth gear going from 0.74 to 0.8, and that's on all Vipers uh, going forward. Um, we've also, been, our test drivers have been talking about the uh, shifter height for a, quite a while, so we've been re reduced the height of the shifter on all ACRs. We'll get a, a lower, shorter shift, um, short throw shifter, and we can confer with Mr. Shining later for all the actual details. There's also a new wing on the new ACR. Um, it's got a beautiful wing for 2010, which uh, again is continuous development. It's the same basic section, but it's got a new gurney flap that's been tuned, and a new um, end plate that's basically about lateral downforce as well. Um, so those little vents and the, the, the fundamental shape of it help in lateral, in yaw situations versus just straight on downforce. So we, again, continuous development of the car. Um, the other trend you're going to see for the last 500 cars we announced on the fourth, uh, we're going to really listen to our owners and see what we can do to make the last 500 cars as special as possible, as collectible as possible. And these two cars are examples of that. So we are probably we're going to now that we have the record officially, <laughs> we're going to do a special Laguna Seca edition, which will look exactly like this. We'll have the red wheels and the inverted theme of the Nurburgring car, basically. So that'll be available to owners. Um, we'll be opening up orders in the next few weeks here. And then the version of my personal car here is the Voodoo, we call it, um, based on my Haitian heritage, a bit of a internal tongue-in-cheek joke. Um, the idea of the offset stripe um, with the red highlights, so there's a lot of ideas in between. We're also going to bring back snake skin, skin green as an ACR. We've never done an ACR with uh, snake skin green. So just to give you an example of some of the things we're going to be looking at.